hip-hop art was a, um, an art movement from the 1950s, 1960s, which started in New York, and then it spread out to London. And it was very different to any art that went before because it rejected all of the traditional art. So have you heard of Andy Warhol? You probably know him for this painting, Soup Cans. And even though he took something like soup cans and made art out of it, you can see that this is not a photograph of a soup can. It's a painting of a soup can. Most people know Andy Warhol, but we're going to look at someone else. And his name is Lichtenstein, uh, Roy Lichtenstein. And his, this is his painting in the background. He took comics and he blew them up into really large paintings, which he repainted. He made a lot of money off it. And today we're going to recreate a painting by Rob Lichtenstein. We start with a guide at the bottom. And it's really important we put guides in because it's hard to draw this thing freehand. And they don't have to be, you don't have to be too accurate. You can just, you don't have to use a ruler. You can just put them in sort of roughly in the right area. So at this stage, I'll make just a single line. A single line here, a little bit something there, and then the line that comes underneath. If this hair's different, that's okay. So we'll put some hair in and look kind of sweeps down over her eyes and then comes back over her forehead. So there's a line there. There's a couple of lines there we can put in for hair. So let's start colouring. Make sure to, you put the colour where the colour goes. And the good thing with the yellow is that you can still see the pencil marks underneath. You don't have to cover those pencil marks up because they're going to be in black. And so you'll be painting black over the yellow later. I start in the areas that are not critical, so I won't start with the eyes. So I start with areas that, if I make a mistake, it doesn't really matter. So I might start up here. 